Greetings to each and every single one of my kinfolk, it just so happens to be I, proud representative of the highest order, coming at y'all today with a cool little tutorial. We got ourselves a big old piece of corn husk, daddy -o. And we are gonna build ourselves a cannabis filled tamale. Mm. I'm gonna smoke it. It's gonna be fun. So, I got my big old crutch, a raw perforated tip, nice and prepped. I like having a crutch when I'm rolling because it really does just make it so that you're able to have something firm to grasp hold of. I don't, I don't know what it is. It's a textural thing. But your boy Woody Woo effing loves them. Alright, so we got an awful lot of cannabis already ready going inside here. Have some for if we need to pack it a little bit more later on. Who knows? Who knows? But here we go. All right. This thing, it um, it's. I'll tell you guys a little bit about how you can just get your own corn husk really easily. I just went and got a corn on the cob. Cut this off of there after uh, ripping it off. Sun dried it. After it sun dries, it gets it gets pretty pretty crispy and crunchy. So you got to rehydrate it before you start rolling it up again. But then I just cut off some of the tips. Um, it was really really long too, so I cut it in half. So I have two big old boys now, and there you have it. It is nice and ready to roll. I'm gonna use the top of the grinder to kind of hold it in place so that it doesn't roll in on itself there we go and now we start to sprinkly linkly linkly bam all right nice big mountain of herb right there as you may or may not be able to see real happy with my Building skills. That's what I've been. That's what I've been calling um, rolling instead because last time I went to Jamaica, after spending some times with the Rastafarians, who um, have a lot you can learn from, but are also pretty weird. <laughs> if I'm gonna be honest. Uh, yeah, but we we're chilling with some Rastafarians and the way that they talk about rolling joints, as I normally call it, is uh, building spliffs. So, over here, building a tamale. Yes, so funny. Alright, here we go. Now, this is a process that can take some time, and this is a process that works a lot better if you just so happen to have something sticky to get this shit together and bound really well because if your spit isn't that sticky um, you could use some of this, some honey I'm gonna be showing you guys how that is gonna come into play a little bit later on but here we go let's start this this part could be fast forwarded because I'm sure it's going to be a little tedious, a little boring because I am a slow, slow man. <laughs> Make this a fucking thicky. That's not like that is the way I like. I like them thick. I like them thick and built for Pilates. Mm. Mm. All right. And we have ourselves a lot of herb. Perhaps made of gold, as you can see. Bam! Let's spill it over there so much. Alright. Now we get to what can be a rather difficult part. 
It's a lot of fucking weed, as you can see. Right. Push it on in there. When you're building these, you want to make sure that you're making this shit real packed in, real tight, because if it's loose at all, it'll make the whole process a bit more difficult. Not impossible, but a bit more difficult. Got this chopstick. Chopsticks. Perfect, perfect tool when you're building. And don't worry. Don't rush yourself. It'll get done. If you rush yourself, you can make some mistakes sometimes. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to do that. It's unnecessary. Alright, we got this nice and shaped now. Folded nicely. Got a good amount of the weed in there. To make it a little bit easier on myself, I am going to be kind of using it as a cone. It's a little bit difficult to get the honey sticking on there when there's a whole bunch of weed. Makes sense, right? Yeah, totally makes sense. Alrighty. Get a little bit of honey on this here chopstick. Go. Nice, nice, nice. Just get a nice layer of it right here. Inside lip. And make my own little natural gum line, you know? Joints have them. Now, my corn has it. The honey also makes the smoking experience actually a bit more smooth and um, and nice. You get a little, little flavor on it. All right, and there we go. Pretty much all sealed up. I'm gonna just uh, do a little bit of last minute poking in and then we're gonna fucking smoke this shit, baby! And here we go. Final product. We have the O Natural Organic Hand Rolled um, Sun Dried Lots of Other Buzzwords Fucking Tamale Baby. <laughs> Let's do this shit. It's gonna taste really good. Mm, mm. Oh yeah. There we go. You want yourself a nice flavorful experience with your herb. This is the way to go. It's real clean too. Really, really nice. Mmm. First time I ever actually smoked on something rolled in a corn husk was in a peyote ceremony. We rolled the tobacco that we were smoking in the ceremony inside of corn husks. And that just made me think, man, like, be dope with some weed. <laughs> Burns really well though. It's smooth as F. Really enjoyable. So try one out yourself. Remember, don't be afraid to be liberal with that honey because it is very easy for these to unravel. It's happened to me plenty of times before. But when you do it right, like I did, you got yourself something to enjoy. Let me know what type of shit you want to see next. 
Let me know what you're smoking on. Be sure to leave a thumbs up and be sure to live a blessed, blessed life. Damn, this tastes good. Woo! Yep, um, you guess, uh, I guess, guys, it's time to say, um, <laughs>